I just rub the facial sunscreen in so we can go get the stuff and do the things. I have to get my body sprayed because it's 90 degrees outside and I don't like it. If you guys are new here, welcome first of all. And if you're not new, welcome back. Please think about subscribing. I really love my little family and it really helps a small channel like me out. And just like that, we are in the car. The magic of video. So, don't click off this vlog because I'm about to tell you some really cool things we're going to do. First, mail time. I haven't looked at it. I haven't even opened it. It's an Amazon box. It came yesterday. And another yummy, easy recipe. I'm not a foodie, as you guys know. So, it has to be easy, it has to be quick, and it has to be good if I share it with you. I don't even think I've said... Good morning. Congratulations, guys. We all got up this morning. Hi. So, first we had to go to the drugstore really quick, the pharmacy. And then we're going to go to the grocery store, get some of our ingredients. And I'll do a little grocery haul recipe ingredient for you when we get home. Alright, see you then. Here are four cups of really fresh blueberries for our blueberry crisp. This is a really healthy recipe. It's an oatmeal crumble on top. And basically, would you call it a compote, Mom? No. Kind of? Well, what do you call the filling? Just blueberries. Just blueberries and, um, well, how do they stick together? I'll show you in a minute. Oh, cool. We're learning together, guys. So, um, the topping is this really healthy sort of oatmeal crumble. So this is great for a breakfast, that's what I do it for. And we're gonna learn together because she's teaching me how to cook this recipe. And you can see that's lots and lots. All right, if you want a really deep blueberry crumble with lots of blueberry crumble, blueberry crisps with lots of blueberries in it, you use four cups. These ones are fresh, we just picked them at the orchard that we have. And then you put some Cornstarch. One, if you're using four cups. If you're using four cups, which is kind of a double batch. One third of a cup of cornstarch. So it's one third of a cup. And that's just the cup. Yep. So that's kind of the compote kind of thing. Even though it's not really a compote, but you know what I mean. You cover them. Stir it up a little. Is your goal to cook them all? To cook as many as you can find. This is really easy, guys. I'm just learning how to make it, but okay. I can't wait. That's all you need to do for the blueberries. Wow, that was really easy. <laughs> and then what do you need to do for the crumble? Okay. You're going to have to give me a minute. Now, while she's getting the stuff ready for the crumble, I'm going to talk you through a couple ingredient modifications that we need to make. As many of you may know, I am gluten and dairy free. So we're using a gluten free flour and a lactate milk. Obviously, if you're not gluten and dairy free, you can switch those items, but it's just. But you do use butter. But we use butter. For the sticking together of the whole concoction. So we have six tablespoons of melted butter. Here, let me switch that. So, oh, let me switch that to the thing so they can see that instead of my face. Two tablespoons of oats. See, that's the healthy part. That's why you're gonna love it. One quarter cup of flour. It's healthy, but it's so good. One half a cup of brown sugar, organic light brown sugar, and I like to put in a little squirt, maybe a teaspoon. Do you use that vanilla? Yes. I like to put in about a teaspoon or so. That's why it tastes so good. I love vanilla. Of vanilla, just for flavor, but I don't really measure. So basically one squirt of vanilla if you want it that way. Or if you wanted a different flavor with your blueberries. And then, just because 
This is the way the blueberries look. Flavor. I like to shake in a little bit of cinnamon too. I, I'm a cinnamon Probably freak. Probably a teaspoon of cinnamon. We like the flavor of cinnamon with our blueberries. So we kind of do it liberally. So I'm going to mix stir. all kind of crumbling, like a crumb topping. So mix it up thoroughly and just pour it on top when you're done, right? Yeah. And I'm going to make sure the blueberries are pretty even in this I think they're good. dish. So this is definitely something I can make for myself. Okay. Kitchen in depth though I am. This pretty liberally on top yeah. of all the blueberries. You want it to cover the whole thing, kind of? Yep. Just to make sure it's all kind of yummy and crusty on top. And it's okay if it seems a little dry or a little wet. If it seems wet, it will just crust on the top and be yummy and gooey on the bottom. And it seems a little dry, it'll be okay because. Make sure you get it all, guys. The blueberries are going to get juicy. And then you just pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 to 45 minutes until you feel like the top is as crunchy as you want and golden as you want it. And that's all there is to it. All right, so while that's baking, let me switch cameras. While that's baking, I wanted to show you guys a um, package that I got yesterday. I haven't opened it, like I said before. I haven't opened it, I haven't seen it. I pretty sure I know what it is, but we order from Amazon a lot around here, so it might not be what I think it is, but let's open it. We just got a package. We just got a package. We just got a package. Wonder where it's from. Tell me if you know where that little song is from. If you're sort of a 90s, 2000s baby, you, you may know, so drop a comment in the comment area comment area down below oh I, it's so hot guys my brain melted and tell me if you know where it's from lemon zester and cheese crater yes where's the um did it come with the uh, of our accessory inside the box. It's all inside the box. okay cool so you open up the box and oh uh, uh oh this is the cleaner Oh, that's important. It's important. And then it comes with a rather hard to get off covering um, plastic. This is what it looks like. I'm and then I picked handle. I picked this one because it comes actually with a let, shield for it. Let me switch so you can see my face. I picked this one because it comes with a shield for the grater, and it also comes with a, I don't know where that part is, but it comes with a glove, supposedly. Um, which, oh, there it is. And here's the glove, so you can cover the hand that's not grating, because you only grate with one hand. So that's really good for me, because I don't want to slice my finger. Um... I don't have dexterity because my... It's a chef's glove so you don't mangle your fingers while you're grating things, which is good for me because because of my CP. I don't have dexterity very well and um, my right hand is basically useless. So, probably going to put that on my left hand because my right hand is going to be on the rubberized handle that's here. Let me, let me switch and show you. So we have a rubberized handle that looks like I can grip it pretty well. Let's see. 
Yep. You can grip that pretty well. And then we have a cover. So that's what the, just a clear plastic cover. And the cleaning brush. And the glove. Where do you think we should put it? We always do. So, we will show you in 30 to 45 minutes what the blueberry crisp looks like. It smells divine. Now, we put it in for 40 minutes because we had it preheated in the oven. If you preheat your oven, we were just, it went too quick for us to remember to preheat the oven. If you do preheat your oven, you probably only need a half hour. And then you'll start to smell it. Yes. It's exciting. And he goes where the food is. Naturally. Alright. We're going to eat lunch. Alright. This is what it looks like when it's done for about 40 minutes-ish. It's crispy and crunchy on the top. And Mom's going to spoon a little bit so you can see the blueberry part. Blueberries are nice and juicy, and that's what it should look like. Alright, Carson wants to go outside yet again. I don't know why, because it's so hot. Alright, I will see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. Bye. So totally rude of me to end it that way. I hope you guys are having a really awesome day, and thank you for watching. Now I can say see you later. Bye.